She saw her daughter, Ellie Smith's nightmare continues. How I'm feeling is that I never want anyone, any mother to feel. The family of four had been camping at the remote Blowholes campsite on WA's rugged Midwest coast. About 1.30 on Saturday morning, her parents gave her a drink of water. When they woke about 6am, Cleo wasn't in the tent, her sleeping bag also missing. As we passed the divider, um, I went into the other room and um, the zipper was open, Cleo was gone. An urgent search of the land and sea has found no sign of the girl. While weather leading efforts to be briefly suspended this morning. But this afternoon they resumed with the mounted police arriving and officers checking nearby shacks. We have to hold hope that Cleo can still be found alive. Um, we still have grave concerns for Cleo's safety, hence why time is of the essence and we're throwing as much as we can at this investigation. Police are investigating the possibility Cleo was abducted with officers around the state urged to be on the lookout. The reality is um, if we do explore the scenario that there is third party involvement and Cleo has been taken from this area by somebody, we are in day four, they could be anywhere. So that is why it's really important we get the message out uh, nationwide. Her parents believe someone must know where she is. Someone has to, it's been four days. Yeah, they have to. They just want her back. Cleo was born eight weeks early. She was premature and she's been strong from the day she was born. So I know she can get through whatever she's going through. The Premier today added his thanks for the massive search effort. And to Cleo's family, and on behalf of all Western Australians, we are thinking of you at this difficult time. And the community of Carnarvon has been spreading the message and helping in any way it can. We sit and watch the sand dunes and we just think, oh, it's just going to run down it and like back into our arms, but we're still waiting. Police will continue to scour the area with hopes the weather will stay fine in coming days. James Carmody, ABC News, Quarter Station. Be fine. This is a good thing the little girl was found. Hopefully, when it comes to other kids, they'll be found as fast as this, be fine. as she was. So, hopefully... Be fine. Hopefully the guy will be charged and he won't be able to get back out. Also, it was a good thing she was saved be fine. and found alive. I'm hoping that a lot of other cases where kids are getting missing, they get found just fast, like, like she was. And that's why they needed to do it, how they did that up in Australia. So, with that being said... The of Cleo Smith will stay in custody as police continue to gather evidence in the case that has gripped the country. The four-year-old was in good spirits yesterday when she was seen in her mum's arms for the first time since her extraordinary rescue by police in the early hours of Wednesday morning. Yesterday, 36-year-old Carnarvon local Terence Darrell Kelly appeared briefly in court. He's been charged with forcibly taking a child under 16 and another charge. The town of Carnarvon is still coming to terms with the emotion and the trauma of the past three weeks. Cecile O'Connor is in Carnarvon for us today. She joins us now. Cecile, good morning. Um, you were one of the few reporters in court yesterday. What, what happened there? Um, well, yeah, as you say, it was a brief court appearance, unusual in some respects. He walked into the court barefoot, which is not necessarily unusual. Police often take um, things off the prisoners, um, you know, places and whatnot. Um, and uh, looked around. Uh, he slumped in his chair. The magistrate took some time to even confirm his name. He was saying, is this your name? 
and uh, yeah, there was no response. He asked a few times and then finally um, Mr Kelly acknowledged that was his name. Uh, he appeared agitated at different times during the appearance. Not long after he walked in, he looked at myself and a colleague and said and swore and said, what are the media doing here? And the magistrate explained to him that the media are allowed in court. It's an open court. So uh, the charge was read to him. Uh, the charge is a long charge of forcibly um, enticing or taking a, a child away from their parents or guardians. And the magistrate said that is commonly known as child stealing. And he said he understood that charge. So uh, no requirement on him to plead because it is such an early stage of the court process. Uh, and he also made no application for bail. But there are a few more outbursts um, during the court appearance, he looked up uh, uh, later, other journalists came in and he, he pointed over, he said, what are you smiling at? There were a few sort of outbursts like that before the, um, the matter was adjourned for legal advice. Uh, there were four detectives in the court. One of them was Cameron Blaine, who of course was one of the officers who went in and uh, into the house where little Cleo was found and rescued um, her and he spoke outside court. Feel good to have you before the court. Certainly does. You know, it's obviously a um, combination of lots of hard work, and uh, that's what we're thinking for. So, um, yeah, it's fantastic, but I'm not going to prevent making more comments. Um, thank you. So, Cecile, we did see some really heartwarming pictures of, of Cleo with her family yesterday. She appeared to be in good spirits. Yes, um, the Premier flew up yesterday, went and visited the family, said that's how she appeared and then uh, later she was seen in her mum's arms being taken off to speak to uh, special interviewers and uh, so lovely, I, I'm sure she's spent a lot of time in her mum's arms since returning home. Uh, also uh, back at the house, we went to the house yesterday, there's still officers set up there of course with masks on, forensic gear, bringing out bags and bags of the evidence from the house. The police have said they want to know what happened during those 18 days, they need to track everything. So. Um, Mr Kelly has been charged, he has been in court, but this investigation is still ongoing and they're still collecting evidence. There are drone pilots still in Carnarvon, about 140 officers. It is a big investigation. Uh, so yes, as you say, um, those lovely pictures of Cleo yesterday in her mum's arms. And police also released some audio. Um, previously, we've seen the images of Cleo outside the house. Yesterday, police released audio of the moment when officers first found her. We got her. We got her. We got her. What's your name? You're right. What's your name? What's your name, sweetheart? Um, my name is Cleo. How are you, Cleo? If anything, our expectations probably weren't going to be great, but it was um, obviously a very emotional experience when we got in, and it was a good result.